Hi, hey, sex J, quick and dirty time again, aka J, because I'm being your answer key for questions you guys have sent in. So I am now doing a kind of an inference question, really. Now, College Academy and College were called this a detail question, which I don't really understand why they would do that. Okay, but anyway, they would most likely agree with a lot of times this comes in like cross text, right? Like this guy would say to the other guy, it doesn't really matter. And this is one of the harder questions, which is great that you guys have sent me it so I can give you guys the more. Honestly, it's an advanced strategy. Okay. I want you guys to all take a second to read through it. Pause the screen and read it, guys. Yeah, y'all write it, right? It's not the most like straightforward passage, like at all. Okay. So what am I here to give you guys the pattern of how these scientific research passages are more likely to go and where to focus on. Okay. Beginning. Some astronomers have proposed something okay so the thing that some people said in the beginning probably not 100 percent correct because if it was 100 percent correct then why did i need to do more research because this is a research passage if i did more research afterward there must have been something in the findings that said well, that could have been corrected. It could have been improved. They were missing something. Or maybe they were even just straight up wrong. We'll see. Okay. So here comes our guys. We have a team of researchers actually being named. So these are the people that we like. Okay. The regular, some astronomers, unnamed people. That's the background, which probably has not perfect info. So they evaluated it. And what did they find out? Finding that. And this is what they found, okay? I'm not going to be concerned about what they found at the moment, okay? But the team also found. Let's stick with that for now, okay? I didn't even read into, okay, what are they researching? But all I have established is, and this is what you need to do. I need to figure out, are they totally going against the previous idea? Are they supporting the previous idea? Or are they in between? Most likely, it's going to be they're in between or they're going against. There really isn't a case where they support. The only time they would support is this. We thought this for a long time, but we couldn't find evidence. We finally got the evidence. That's the only scenario. Okay, so here. I know that they both support and go against because they found something. I don't even know what this something is over here. But they also found that, so they found opposite things. Okay, so then the answer here is going to be about NH3, if you are guessing, and a lot of people might guess this because this is a harder passage, the answer here should be something that contains, it's like this, but it's also like that. Okay? So what should that be, guys? Yeah, you probably guess right. Probably. Right? I, I'm having faith in you guys. So the answer here is C. Okay? Now, let's actually look at the other ones and see um, process of elimination. Okay? So what were they arguing about? Does NH2 mean life? And the answer was yes, if blank, and then no, if blank. Was the logic here? And that has to be the structure. We have to answer the question. So they asked, okay, I'm, let me clear the board here. Okay. So, so is NH2, NH3, indication of life? And then we said, um, yes, but also found. Okay. Those are really the only things that I need to key in on. What is the question and what was the answer? I don't particularly care that much on why it's correct, why it's incorrect. I don't care about those details. Okay. So can it harbor life? Is it a signal for life? The answer is, well, yes, sometimes and no, sometimes. Let's look. A. Okay. Um, actually, let's get rid of B probably doesn't have life. Okay, so they do that a lot. So if, if I say, if somebody is um, really tired, that could mean that um, they did a lot of work today. Sure. Does that mean if somebody's not tired, they didn't do any work? I don't know. Maybe that guy just has a really high level of energy. So I have, this thing means that there could be life. Does that mean without it, it's no life? I don't know. So they do that a lot, okay? So the logic here, if A, then B. Oh, uh, better example. If somebody has a Lamborghini, they're rich, probably, right? Does that mean if somebody doesn't have a Lamborghini, they're not rich? I don't know. Maybe they have a Ferrari. They have something else. So the answer here, okay, 
All I had was, does it show life? I don't know about its absence. What does that show? I don't know. Okay. Just don't pick those. Those are really common traps. Okay. And then D, I don't like because it says it doesn't reliably. That's just saying it doesn't show life. That's too definitive of an answer. Okay. So the answer here is either A or C. So then which one is it? So the answer here is C because biosignature gas, that's, this is the only one that answers the question. What is a biosignature gas? That's the thing that we're worried about that supports life. So, um, yeah, so the answer here is C. It should be treated as biosignature gas if in this scenario, but not in this other scenario. And those details, you guys can check for yourself. They do work from like here and here, okay? But I don't really want to worry about those details. And why is it not A? Because I don't care about figuring whether something is a mini Neptune versus a rocky planet. That wasn't the main point. That's certainly in the text, but that's just as a distraction. So that's why I said it was important in the beginning to just identify what are they asking about? Can NH3 be a sign of life? The answer is C. Yes, it can be a sign of life, aka biosignature gas, if it's like this, and no, if it's like this. Why? Because the structure had, but they also found. Okay? If you guys want to take more time, read more of the text and comprehend it more fully, that's fine. But when you're actually answering the question, that's what you should zero in on. Okay? I have an even harder question coming up next, so be on the lookout for that. But just keep sending in these questions, guys, because you know me, Sexy J the AK. Who's your answer key? It's me. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.